Hello, I'm Doug and this is the Taste and Sensibility channel. And today we're at popcorn episode number 11 where we are looking at two mushroom popcorns. This uh, Wabash Valley Farms says extra large mushroom and perfect for coating. And Wabash Valley Farms is the maker of the Whirly Pop, which is a famous uh, stirring, you know, hand propelled stirring popcorn maker for the stovetop. But when I was looking for mushroom popcorns, Amish Country had one and I needed another to match it up to. So I found this on Amazon and ordered it. And then I had a tin pack of Amish Country popcorns and mushroom popcorn is one of the varieties. So that came out of that uh, set. So we're going to nose and taste and uh, I'll tell you what I think of these things. But before we get into it, let me get you to like the video down below, give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, uh, leave comments and questions down there. And uh, have you had any of these things or like some other kind of mushroom popcorn that you know about? So let me know all that and uh, subscribe to the channel and click on that bell to get notified when the new videos come out. Okay, so I am going to nose the Wabash Valley Farms popcorn first. These did not pop up as big in the popper as I thought. They didn't produce the uh, volume that some of the other popcorns did. So that was a surprise. And then there were more unpopped kernels in both of these uh, batches than I've noticed in other popcorns. So that could be one of the drawbacks when you go for the mushroom. But it's good for making caramel corn or coating it with some spice or sugar mixture. Mm. On this nose, I'm getting a cooked oil. It's very common for grapeseed oil to have uh, cooked and scorched and umami sort of flavor. It sometimes imparts smoky turkey ham type things to the popcorn, at least to the nose. And there's a hint of that, but it's not, I'm not really getting meat here. Or smokiness, but it's cooked oil for sure. Whoop. Bang that thing. So cooked oil is about as far as it goes on the nose. <laughs> it's not really, it's not corny either. I'm sticking my nose way into it and uh, I don't get much in the way of corn or popcorn aroma. So, not a drawback in my book. Oh, it's gonna fall over. Let me try the Amherst Country. Mm, same sort of nose, uh, not quite as cooked, not quite as scorched on the oil, and it's the same oil, same heat, same popper, same amounts, same salt. So I expect it to be very similar, but uh, maybe my nose is tired, but it's striking me as a little less aroma, a little less cooked oil smell than over here. And that's probably not a function of the popcorn anyway, so... We will just dive in and give it the taste test. Mmm. Good salty popcorn. Not an abundance of corn flavor, but some. And crispy. And a good salt level. So this would disappear even though it doesn't have a lot of corn flavor. Uh, <laughs> the salt is probably going to satisfy 70 or 80 percent of our needs when we're looking for a snack. I would eat this. But uh, not as much corn flavor as I'm usually looking for or hoping for. So it would be a good vehicle for other things like making caramel corn or kettle corn, putting spice mixtures on it. I wouldn't ever go to this just to have some popcorn. So it's solid, maybe 40 or 50 percent of the corn flavor of some of my best uh, examples. So competent and not your first, not my first choice unless I'm gonna be doing some coating or cooking with it. So I don't think I need to really go on further. It's a nice salty popcorn. Kernels are really big. They have these blotched, speckled, 
uh, cooked on the outside sort of coatings that I've noticed in other uh, very large popcorns, jumbo popcorns. So that seems to be a feature of these big things that pop into balls. So I think I'm done with that one. I might come back to it after I taste the Amish country. Let's put the little sign up here you can see. This one says mushroom popcorn. I got, I'll put photos up of the bags. So cleaned up there and moving on to Amish country mushroom popcorn. Maybe a touch more corny than this one, but it's also showing a lack of corn flavor in favor of some <laughs> breeding technique or something that gives them the big balls when it's popped. Uh, the corn flavor is back to dial down a little bit. So it's a good salty snack. It would disappear. People would eat it and go, yeah, that's good. But it's not the best popcorn for me or the thing I would go to if I just want popcorn flavors. If you're just going to smear butter all over it, uh, it might work for that. It might work for caramel corn just fine. But I'm getting a lack of the corn flavor I'm looking for in both of these. So not a big victory here. I'm learning about these things in the wrong order. I didn't know about these until after I'd already done the uh, caramel corn episode. All right, what do you use this stuff? Yeah, I think that's about it for mushroom popcorn. I'll go back over here and see if anything's different going in the other order. Uh, probably marginally less flavor. So that's a fairly subjective thing, <laughs> just for me here. I've really been surprised by the Amish country varieties, the fundamental varieties, and not just any of the blends, but the basic kinds are always better than I think they're going to be. And this is the first one that's uh, let me down on flavor. So that was my bias coming into this. I knew Wallet Bash Valley Farms was probably a pretty good uh, company and outfit as far as getting good varieties of popcorn. But I thought, well, I was being so successful with all the Amish country things that I'd probably like it better. And I would say it's got a, just a marginal edge out, marginal advantage on the corn flavor. I'm not getting a lot here. These uh, are made for cooking and not for flavor, not for corn flavor. So I think that's going to wrap up this episode a little earlier than I expected. So we got some more interesting episodes coming along. Uh, I'm going to do a, like a four-way microwave flight of uh, popcorns. I'm going to do uh, some uh, more gourmet things and uh, black jewel, both stovetop and microwave. And some more varieties of uh, various whites and yellows. So come back for all that and cheers. Pop till you drop. <laughs>